Hi everyone and welcome to Structural Details channel. Throughout our complete uh, video course on how to use uh, SketchUp, I've showed you how to create scenes of your uh, SketchUp 3D model. I've included the link for that specific lesson. That's uh, lesson nine. It's in the description below. So you can uh, watch it again and uh, refresh on how to create scenes. A uh, couple of you have asked me if, uh, if uh, whether or not it's possible to create a walkthrough animation again with uh, SketchUp, always using the free online version of the program. It turns out you can and it's uh, very easy as well. And this is what I'm going to show you very quickly in this uh, video today. I've also included a link for the complete video course uh learning sketchup basics always using the free online version of sketchup so stick around and let's find out how to create a walkthrough animation so here we are from where we left off we have our single story um, uh, 3d model uh, quick reminder on how to create scenes, uh, navigate through your model, find a view that you like and uh, to create and save a view, save a scene, come here on the right on the different uh, tools uh, toolbar. Uh, there's a button called scenes and it has the director's cut icon. Click on it and click on the plus sign to save this scene, it will be added into this section of scenes, my scenes. I've already created a couple of scenes. Um, you can also rename your scenes for uh, easier reference. Just click on the three dots next to the scene, select edit and change the name of the scene. For instance, this one uh, is the plan view is the plan view scene and click OK so it's very easy to save uh, several scenes and we are going to use these scenes to create our uh, video walkthrough animation so what SketchUp will actually do is uh, create an animation joining each scene one after the other in the sequence that you have them here. So if you want to change the sequence of which scene you want to show first and uh, which next, you can just simply click on it and drag it to a different location. So let's have a look at the scenes I have uh, chosen. Click on the scene and it will go back to the, that saved scene. Scene 2 is at the front. So these are the saved scenes we have with this model. And now what we want to do is come back to create our uh, video walkthrough animation. Come back again here at the scenes uh, toolbar. Thus at the top, there's a small play button. Play video button. Just click on it and uh, SketchUp will start creating an animation going from one scene to the other. So just click on it, wait a few seconds for the program to render our scenes and there it is, it will move from one scene to the other continuously to give you a sense of a walkthrough video animation. You see it's going from one scene to the other in the same sequence that we have them in our scenes menu click on the same button again to pause it. There are a couple of settings we can use uh, again in the scenes toolbar. Click on the gear settings icon. This will open a small settings uh, window. Enable scene transition. Basically what this is is a smooth transition from one scene to the other. Yes we want this. We don't want uh, the video to jump from one scene to the other. We want to have a smooth transition. Second setting 
is a um, uh, transition time in seconds. What this is, is how long will it take to go from one scene to the other. Uh, the smaller the setting, it goes up to zero, the animation will move very fast. The higher the setting, we will move very, very slow. I found out that three seconds between one scene to the other is a good amount. And um, the last, um, the third setting, delay time, if we want the video to stop at each scene, I currently have it set to zero, so basically it doesn't stop after it reaches a scene, but if you want to stop for a second or two uh, at each scene, you can change this setting here. So let's change a few of these settings just to see the difference. Uh, first change I'm going to do, I'm going to change the transition time to zero. So basically I'm expecting it to go very fast. Click OK and hit the play button. You see how fast it is. Change the setting back to three seconds. Hit the play. And uh, you see now it's much uh, smoother from one scene to the other. It takes exactly three seconds. Now, depending on the distance that the program has to travel from one scene to the other, you can adjust this setting accordingly. The next setting, let's uh, change the delay time to, let's make it two seconds. So I'm expecting in each time it reaches a scene to stop and wait for two seconds. Hit play. There it stopped, two seconds, and then it moves to the next scene. Let's take everything back. Okay. Now, unfortunately, with the free online version of SketchUp, uh, you will not be able to export this uh, video. You can only do this either using the desktop version of SketchUp or a paid version of the software, but you can always play uh, the walkthrough animation and use any free uh, screen grab, screen capture software to record a video. So you see how easy it is to create a walkthrough animation um, after creating your scenes. Unfortunately, the only drawback with using the free online version, as we said, you cannot export this animation as a movie, so thank you for watching and as I said in the beginning, I've included the link for the complete video course uh, How to Learn SketchUp. It's designed for absolute beginners. You can watch it here on YouTube for free.